180 millennia ago, a baby Zalo hatched out into the amazing jungle planet of Tanaku. Zalo was amazed, excited, and happy. He gathered all of his strength and crawled out into the water. But then he realized none of the other humpras like him were there. When Zalo grows up, he meets a giant chicken named Flinto that knows every math equation that ever is or was. Flinto was a genius. Flinto took Zalo underneath his wings and he taught Zalo everything that he knew in a nanosecond. How to fly, math, and everything about chickens. But then Flinto realized Zalo had superpowers that no one had. He held Zalo, unlocked the power of bolt song, the ability to shoot bolts out of his eyes. Even though Zalo had these powers, he was still lonely because he didn't know anyone else like him. When the leaves of one of the bushes rustled delicately, a creature they noticed to look like themselves emerged, dusting off their shoulders. Hello, they said. I am here to teach you the way of the Humphras. After Zalo got over the shock of being addressed directly by the Humphra, they began. The older Humphrey taught him to use his smarts wisely. They practiced useful skills, and under the elder's careful watch, Zalo became very talented. After three months of schooling, the wise old Humphrey sent Zalo on a quest to find the others as a test of his skills. So the wise Humphrey gave him a magical cake that would transport him to the desert where the other Humphras were. But the GPS was set wrong on the cake. The cake starts to fly around, goes out of the woods, and malfunctions. It took him two years to bring him to the long location. Antarctica. The cake needed more magical sprinkles. Since he ate all the cake during the two-year travel, all that was left was instructions how to make another cake. So he makes another cake, and this time he remembers to put on enough magical sprinkles. When Zalo jumps into the new cake, in the blink of an eye, the magical cake sends Zalo to the desert. Zalo is at a desert. He finds a liger at the desert. The liger asks Zalo to split his DNA. His evil mom mixed together his and his brother's DNA. So Zalo splits the DNA, but Zalo was kidnapped by the brothers and taken to an abandoned city with a Jill and is trapped in a jail cell who was chained to a metal wall. Zala was frightened. Everything was crazy. He was weirded out and had no idea what was going on. He thought the jail was smelly. He thought maybe the pipes in the toilet were broken. It smelled stinky. He noticed that everyone was weird. Everyone else was different than him. He wasn't that crazy. Zalo then got a magical cake in the mail. He knows what to do. He jumps in the cake and whoosh! He appears in a Liger kingdom in the desert. Zalo makes friends with a nice Liger, this time whose name is Walupa. Walupa has secret power. He knew the sense of all creatures very well. So they went off on a journey Following the scent will Wulupa smelled. They end up in a human zoo and they find other Humphras and Ligers in the zoo. They teamed up together to plan a wild escape. If they worked together, they would get free. And it worked. They escaped. Zalu and Wulupa's new friends brought them straight to the Humphra King in the Humphra Kingdom. The king knew exactly who Zalu's parents were because his father 
was the emperor. He reunited his family and a new adventure began.